Hello there, welcome to this video. This sun is so bright. <laughs> it's good lighting though, it's good lighting, natural, natural light guys. Um, before I get started, I just wanna read out a few names of people I really wanna thank for supporting this video. Yo, welcome to the Crack It Crew. It's so cool, isn't it? This is basically a little club that it is, yeah, it's a cool little club that uh, I've set up um, <laughs> to try and support my vlogs and uh, you get your name shouted out in the videos and put in my logbook if you uh, basically give me all your money. Uh, so one of these generous people is Tiffa Robinson. Tiffa, thank you so much for supporting my vlogs. Uh, I know Tiffa is a rector of several parishes. He's got a seaworthy boat with a Perkins engine. And because Tiffa is a producer, he gets a couple of little red flags by his name. And then we've got Sarah Craddock. Sarah is looking for her own boat. Sarah, I hope you have found it or find it in 2020. And uh, thanks for supporting me on these videos. There's your name going in the book. My dad, Richard Gumming, is already in the book. He's in the log book. He's a cranky crew member. But my mother, who goes by the name of Sue Hardy because uh, her art, uh, which you must check out, of course. Massive shout out to my mum's art because she's a real talented one of the family uh, and produces some wonderful pieces of work, which I'll leave a link to her website down below. And uh, yeah, so mum's in the Crank It crew. Hello, mum. Right, the Huddersfield Narrow, probably one of the hardest canals that I've ever traveled across and leading up to it on the lower peak forest. We're basically starting down here and taking what is the shortest route across the Pennines uh, here. So 20 miles the Huddersfield Narrow Canal, um, but 74 locks, um, yeah, which you'll see aren't very easy at all. But this, like many of the canals, was uh, a huge restoration job and um, it was only opened in 2001. So, and it's just many thanks to the Huddersfield Canal Society who, uh, one of which their one of their esteemed members actually took me through the Stanage Tunnel on the TV series that I made recently. Anyway, so that's all that. Let's just get stuck in. Just had one of the best filming days yet, and that is taking on 16 locks where I didn't have to lift a finger because the volunteers, volunteer lock keepers, helped me out. Been over this aqueduct, the highest aqueduct in England, and yeah, just generally amazing. The views here are incredible. Not quite as high as the Ponta Casilti in Wales, but in England, this is the, this is the highest one. And it's still standing, although they have done a lot of work to it recently. Anyway, what a great day. Lucky s I am. It's my job. Right, just uh, leaving what would have been the pub of the week. And this is... Jake's Ale House. And uh, yeah, so if you're in the area, definitely pop in. So this, we're in Romilly. So that's the place to go. There were more pubs in Ashton Underline at the end of the Peak Forest Canal, but although they were quite fun, I've got to say, no, there, there are no words. <laughs> I've had enough today. I've done eight locks on my own. Um, no help from anyone at all, which is great because that's what I want to film. I want to show what it's like <laughs> um, you know, doing all this, you know, the real side of boating, but I just absolutely had enough. It's hilarious, because the other day I was like, oh, I'm living a dream, and now I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> but that is the way it is, isn't it? So yeah, it's not the easiest job in the world. You can't hardly moor up anywhere. There's a shelf that runs along the side of the canal and the locks just are so tough to get through but we're doing it guys, we're doing it. He's walking ahead to the next lock to open it for me but most of the locks I do it myself as normal because this canal there are hardly any other boats coming along. There's a few but not many at all. Just passing through Mosley. Mosley is about nine miles outside of Manchester. It's in the foothills of the Pennines, but I went up to the hill 
to uh, see the view from the Rising Sun pub, which I can definitely recommend for excellent pizzas and pints. Well worth the walk up the hill. Further up the canal is a town called Upper Mill, and it's definitely set up for tourists, although I managed to find this really cool little locals pub, which I felt very welcome in. Yep, the Granby Arms is your classic pool table and jukebox pub, which I'm so fond of. And uh, they actually laughed at me when I went in because I wiped my feet. They said, normally people wipe their feet when they leave this place. So uh, yeah, good place to have a good time. Happy <laughs> We're in the Granby in Upper Mill, so check it out. <laughs> this is from the north side. And this is it. This is why you do it. As a solo narrowboater, the Huddersfield Narrow Canal is possibly the hardest one you could do. But these views looking out across Greater Manchester, just incredible. And I love this little culvert that went over the canal as you went underneath it. Ice cream! And if you like ice cream, there's Grandpa Greens over there on the right hand side. Here's me in all my safety gear coming out of the St Stanage Tunnel. But um, the chap in the foreground, this is Trevor Ellis. And on the programme that I made, I said, as TV programme, I said Trevor was from the CRT. It's a little bit more complex than that because he's an author, um, he's written books about the tunnel and he's also been a member of, of the Canal Society, the Huddersfield Canal Society for a long time. And just when I think I've finished filming for the day, I see one of my crank it crew members waiting for me. Uh, he was secretly filming me. I, could, I, I would turn it round and so I could see well, what yeah. I was looking at, but I noticed that I could see the picture on your screen. So right now we're just talking about filming techniques, about how I film my vlogs. And um, Paul's also helping me find the pub of the week in a place called Marsden. recording in really? Is it on? They never know when I'm filming. There's not much to the place, a bit like Up Mill. It's very touristy, I found, um, and a little bit of a small town, but it looks beautiful. Um, and uh, we did find a, a pub to at least have a game of pool in. Don't ever play this man at pool, he's absolutely Absolute. sharp. Absolute Absolute. Welcome to Yorkshire. Yeah. And as Paul had his car with him, we actually drove to a nearby laundrette, so that was very handy. I've just, I'm in this amazing laundrette right in Huddersfield area and I don't think I've ever been anywhere where they not only serve you a nice cup of coffee but also a complimentary brioche roll. <laughs> it's brilliant. He's loving it as well. <laughs> if you'd like to see what the inside of the Stanage Tunnel looks like from Paul's perspective here, uh, just click on the link below in the description. Uh, it's a video that is actually titled, and that's it, it was never seen again. I'm on my own today, so I've got no help at all. We've got, just got a number of stoppages happening one after the other. It's great telly, guys, but um, yeah, it doesn't make it easier to travel. The stoppage says there are absolutely no plans to fix it. Great. What? what am I As to I'm ranting here, I'll just explain that I have a pump out toilet in my boat, and it's very important that you find a pump out facility that actually works. Earlier on in my trip, I did try another pump out station, but my card that I was using. And this is the problem with this old fashioned technology. It got bent, so uh, it didn't read it and I couldn't use it. Absolute Yeah, I shouldn't have to do that. Having to take the normal attachment off and use a Jubilee clip just so I can get water from this hose. Really strange. He seemed to make it so hard for you to, to live on the canals. And yeah, I'm not a big fan at the moment, especially as I've just spent £2.10 reloading the uh, toilet rolls in the facilities. Nice enough facilities actually compared to a lot of them in the country, um, but still 
well, I shouldn't have to do that. But I just this whole canal system just isn't used enough, I don't think. But it won't ever be unless they sort out all this stuff. Luckily, I can get by with a little help from my friends, and this friend here is John, who is just taking a break from work, so he's come down in a suit to uh, help me through a lock. I've just been filming um, another cooking section sequence, and it was quite hard moving the camera around, moving this tripod around, and trying to get everything looking nice, and you know, it's just a oh, nightmare. To top it all off, I just burnt the toast and the scrambled eggs look absolutely horrible. <laughs> they don't taste much better. But I'm really hungry. Excuse me. Now, obviously, I'm doing all these locks on my own, but every now and then, I do have friends who want to come along and help out. And here's one of them. This is Andrew, you might have recognised him before from making that bloody Pedalorian thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still going. It works now. It's still going, yeah, we go. Question two works. What have we got today? We've got uh, walkie talkies. How's that going? Brilliantly. Oh, it would help if I had mine on. Right, so I'm over here. The engine noise is quite loud. I've got my walkie talkie. Let's see if I can hear Andrew. Andrew, come in, over. Coming in, over. <laughs> so yeah, my new, my new favourite toy, these, absolutely brilliant. Apart from this as well, new speaker. You've got to have tunes. The building behind me here is known as Titanic Mill, built a year before its namesake sank. It used to be a woolen mill, but now it houses apartments and an award-winning spa, which my girlfriend has just booked me in for an overnight stay. Yes, I'm a very lucky man, but I need it after all these locks anyway. Golden ladybird. It's a golden ladybird mm. crawling up the crotch. Mm. <laughs> We're almost at the end of a long day. We've got some more locks to do, but I thought we'd stop off and eat some Chinese chicken chow mein. What have you got? I've got some fried rice with veggies. Fried rice with veggies. So, ah, oh, I need it. I need that food. And I've got a, a beer as well. This is the view from Lock 9, Isis Lock, and uh, you can see as Naughty Lass moored up there. Nice little mooring here, and there's only eight locks to go until this final one here at Huddersfield. Here I am with my uh, producer from Canal Boat Diaries, Stuart. And that's it, we're in <laughs> Huddersfield. Right, I've just completed the Huddersfield Narrow Canal. So that calls for a beer. And this is a local one, Empire Brewing, uh, who were very nice to me uh, when I went in there. They didn't give me anything for free. I haven't reached that level yet. <laughs> but they allowed me to buy some beers to take away. And this one's a milk stout, chocolate milk stout. Let's have a look at this. Oh yeah.
So here's to the most difficult canal I've ever, ever been on. Cheers. Oh, that is chocolatey. A bit too chocolatey for me. So, that's it. The old chimney is no more. Uh, it's time to get a new one. So later on in the year, after I'd finished filming Canal Boat Diaries, I tried to get things sorted on my boat. So I got a cover and that was fitted by a local company to Lee near Manchester. At around the same time, my girlfriend and her two-year-old daughter were aboard and the glass on this stove actually cracked. Luckily, Eddie from Boatman Stoves, the guy who actually makes them, he was able to come out at short notice, fix it, and also gave me this free chimney. I think he was taking pity on me, really. All the same, thank you once again, Eddie, for saving my relationship. <laughs> Ending that trip in Huddersfield was great. There's plenty of moorings around. Don't just have to stick to the, the marina. There's there's quite a few. And then you can head on to what is known as the Huddersfield Broad Canal, which will appear in the next video. Right, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, yeah see you again in the next one until then keep on cranking it <laughs>